In this video, I'm going to show you how to see feedback that your professor has left on an assignment that you submitted within Canvas. In general, there are two different kinds of feedback that you, that you can get, comments about the assignment or feedback directly on the submission. This video is going to talk specifically about feedback on the submission itself. The general principle is that you need to get to the submission details portion of the assignments page. There are three ways to do that. The first way is if the feedback was recent, you can click on the link on the bottom right hand portion of your screen where it says recent feedback. Here you see short application paper. That's the paper that we're going to look at the professor's feedback today. There's another way that you can do it, which is going through the assignments tab. And then you're going to find the assignment that you're looking for. And this one is going to be on the uh, short application paper right here. So we can click on that. And this is going to bring us to the details about this particular assignment. If you want to go to the submission details page, you'll see it on the right hand side of the page right there under turned in. The third way that you can see it uh, is to look at the grades tab over here. So you'll see there's a blue dot with the white number one that tells you how many grades that you have that are new since the last time that you accessed the grades page. We're going to click there because there's a few other things that you can look at regarding the assignment in this page. Okay, so you can tell down here in a short application paper, it has the blue dot, so this is the new one. You see that we have a score of one out of 10, so we didn't do too well on this assignment. And in this right hand side, you can either, you can click here and you can see comments on the paper. There's another place that you can see that as well. But right here you can see the comments, this wasn't your best work, put in more effort next time, that's what the professor said about this particular paper. But if we want to see the details on this assignment, we'll go ahead and we can click on that short application paper. And now we're at the submission details page. If you would have clicked uh, the submission details link going through assignments, you would have found that you ended up at the same page. Once again, on the right, we see the general comment about the assignment, not the feedback. If you want to see the feedback on this paper, you go into this box right here where it says file uploads and you see there's a preview icon, piece of paper with a magnifying glass in front of it. You can click on there. Do not click on this link right here, the name of the document. That will simply download the document that you uploaded. We're gonna click over here on this preview icon. Now, it's gonna load, but you can tell it's pretty small. So you can see some of the comments that have been made. There was an area comment that the professor left saying put this content here into a header. Uh, there's a comment specifically on the passage of text right here, and then there was some writing that the professor put on the paper telling you about a critique. So if we want to see this in a larger format, or uh, if you want to keep it for your records, we're going to download this document. So if you look to the right of the comments box, you see a piece of paper with a down arrow. This is going to enable you to download the paper. So you click on it, and now we can download the original file or the annotated PDF. We're going to download that annotated PDF, and I would recommend saving it as graded short application paper or something along those lines, and choose where you want to save it. I'm going to save this one in the downloads folder. So we can click on, uh, click on OK, and it's going to save down there. A quick note, if you're using a Mac, don't use preview to open this document. You can use it, but the problem is that the comments that are made on the document, specifically these area comments, or the comments that are specifically tied to parts of the text, those lines between the highlighting on the paper or the box on the paper, and the line from that over to the comment will, will not be visible in preview. So if you're on a Mac, I recommend using Adobe uh, Acrobat to download it instead. Even within Adobe Acrobat, you won't be able to see the line right away, but if you put your mouse or hover your mouse over the comment, the line to the specific part of the paper that's being uh, addressed will pop up and you'll be able to see what your instructor was saying. And that's all that you need to know to see your professor's document uh, highlights and comments on a document that you submitted into Canvas.